Today is February the 25th, 2016. Here's another quick video for you. Uh, here we got uh, UCLA at California. Game's coming to an end on a throw-in from on the end line. And then the ball is thrown in, and we'll follow it from there. I want to show you. You've heard me talk often about a hit-and-run official. Well, this is one of the best ones I've seen in a while. Let's follow it. You guys that play the same position are the two best guys in the history of the conference. You and Bernie. Alford is fouled. Don't pick the time now to be modest, okay? What we have just seen is... Um, a hit and run official. He hit the whistle and ran to the table like there was a time limit to report that. And that's really not professionalism. That's really not the proper way to um, rule a foul. When we get to the table, these guys that do that are hit and run officials. They tell the scorer that it was a hit or a hold or something like that, illegal use of hands but they didn't tell the player who committed the foul what kind of foul it was. If you're going to choose between telling the player who fouled or the scorer, you ought to put yourself in a position to tell the coach and the player that you, didn't you see my signal? Coaches and players sometimes say, well, what did he do? I'm sorry, coach, didn't you see my signal? That's a hit-and-run official. Hit-and-run official. It's not a good thing to do. It's not the professional way to officiate. And we're not putting anybody down here. We're just increasing awareness to unprofessionalism. Don't pick the time now to be modest, okay? 